To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add a screen pump effect to. Let's begin by positioning the playhead to where you want to start the screen pump effect. Then make sure your clip is selected on the timeline and go up to Effect Controls. Click the stopwatch next to Position and Scale to create a starting keyframe. Then press the right arrow key on your keyboard three times to move the playhead forward three frames. Change position's first value to 820. And change position's second value to 440 to automatically create a second keyframe for position. Then increase the scale to 120 to create a second keyframe for scale. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard three times to move the playhead forward another three frames. Click the Reset Parameter button for position and scale to create third keyframes at your clip's original position and scale. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking screen pump. To speed up the screen pump, just drag the first and third set of keyframes closer to the middle set. Finally, if you want to do a double screen pump, start by copying the first two sets of keyframes. Then position the playhead at the first set of keyframes. Press the left arrow key on your keyboard six times to move the playhead six frames back. Then paste the first two sets of keyframes at that position. Alright, and there I have a double screen pump. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.